everyone. It's Nicole here, the Outreach Coordinator for the Songs of Love Foundation. And with me, I have Brad, who is Drew's father. And I also have Drew, um, which is amazing because we like to call them the OG family because they were with us back when we had CDs, which is a very long time ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Brad and Drew, why don't you tell us um, a little bit about Drew's journey um, and how you all found the Songs of Love Foundation? Uh well, my wife Casey is the one who really sort of like she did, she, she did, she did, she did the whole magic. But now it was just this last Christmas we were sitting. Um, he's turning eighteen tomorrow, actually. Um, oh, happy so, early birthday! <laughs> but uh, we were, I was going through. We were just sort of talking, and the, uh, when we got the songs, the love CD, uh, back when he, he had some stuff going on, and it was just this song that was always we played in the car with him when we uh, but we'd take him to places. My wife can tell you the story, but I'll let her do it. Yeah. I had um, saw the brochure. We were at Duke um, Hospital. Uh, he was getting chemo weekly uh, and uh, they had the little brochure. I was like, oh, well, this would be kind of cool. And I think I sent you guys all the information because it is, it is so crazy listening to the song. It's like, it's everybody. It's, it's including his bunny that he, oh, we should have brought bunny down. <laughs> but yeah, it, uh, it, it just kind of helped, helped us through. He used to dance to it. He could kind of forget all that was happening and uh yeah, we it, it brought back a ton of memories and tears at Christmas when Brad played it. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Now, did you guys know that Brad was requesting to see if we had the MP3 or was this a surprise? No, it was a total surprise. We um he had talked to, we we talked about looking for it. Like, gosh, where was it? And uh neither one of us could remember and I kind of forgot. And I think I said something to him like oh, did you ever reach out? And he's just, he kind of blew me off like like he does. And uh, yeah, all of a sudden he started playing it on, it was on the TV, I think. Yeah, actually, uh, we, uh, actually we, you know, uh, we got the we got the MP3 file, so we sort of upgraded, right, from the CD. <laughs> it was, I, I was actually worried if we found the CD, how could we even play it? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, then I just found an app that worked with uh, Alexa and stuff like that. And so we were sitting there and all of a sudden I would just sort of had Alexa start playing it through the TV. And I was like, what? Oh, oh my gosh, you know. Oh, that's amazing. Um, and what a special gift to kind of bring back some, you know, fond memories and some um, memories of just having Drew get through some difficult times. Um, but Drew, you are now grown. Um, so what was it like for you to kind of hear that song back, you know, years and years down the road? Um, when I was really little, like, I honestly don't remember much, like, from when I was really little, but I do remember the song all throughout growing up, like, from when it was happening to then, like, people, like, everybody in my family would just say it all the time throughout, gro it. <laughs> throughout, throughout growing up from when I was little to when it was going on till now, and, uh, it's always been like a song that I've known and like now even like my girlfriend knows it <laughs> stuff like that so like it, it's always stuck with me so and it's always been like there I guess oh that's awesome so it's not just a family affair everyone knows it everyone is in on the song and they all sing it back to you probably <laughs> And that, that was the thing. It was cool. Like I said, once we got the file, like, you know, we should like, you know, ended up sharing it back to my mother and my grand and my his aunts and stuff like that. Because, you know, in the song, they sort of, they talk about, you know, like everybody around him. Because again, day. Drew was what, two years, two years old? 15 months. 15 months when he got diagnosed with histiocytosis. And mm -hmm. so at that point, again, we were, we were a young couple and new to family and everything was sort of new to us. And again, like you said, it was sort of a, upbeat distraction of you know what you were doing every day of sort of you know going back to the hospital and you know have you ever been to you know cancer ward of a children's hospital yeah. it's not a lot of you know it's 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 sort of it's, it's not a not a fun time mm -hmm. oh yeah but and it's funny because I think he remembers he didn't know what the song was when Brad was playing it because he only remembers the version of us singing it <laughs> 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 all the time and he was like it was a very familiar song. Even my, um, our, his oldest cousin is, um, what, three years older. And he kind of remembered it. Well, I mean, when for everyone to remember that, even though you were the ones that they remember singing it um, <laughs> and being able to kind of hear the songwriter from, gosh, I mean, 17 years ago now, 
um, it's just an amazing gift. And we like to say it's the kind of the gift that lasts forever because even though you had it as a CD and now you have it as an MP3, I mean, I'm sure it'll probably be played at every single milestone that Drew has. <laughs> Get ready for your wedding. <laughs> Uh, well, Drew, it is so nice to catch up with you and see that, you know, even though you received the Songs of Love back when you were two years old, you're now 18, you and your family still enjoy it to this day. Um, I know you are going to college to play lacrosse. What aspirations do you have for you? Yeah, well, it's always been a dream of me and my brothers to go and take lacrosse to a next level at past high school. And luckily, like me and him worked hard and there was some difficulties along the way and stuff, but we both are, my brother there now is playing at Barton College. It's a division two program. And then coach reached out to me and I committed there as well over this uh, summer. And then um, it's just like, I know when I'm there, I'm gonna have a lot of fun and friends that I've already met and after, when I go to school, I want to major in business and have a minor in communications and either A, do a, be a ESPN sports broadcaster because <laughs> I love sports or do like computer engineering, which has always been like a fascinating subject to me, especially throughout high school. I've took a lot of like elective classes for that. And I want to kind of do like what my dad did, which was like build lacrosse programs around the wherever I'm living so to spread the game more because when we were first started like the program here it wasn't lacrosse wasn't a big thing but now it kind of has grown around the state and I want to kind of do that and spread the game everywhere that's amazing and who knows you may even create your own type of ESPN network where all you do is talk about lacrosse and help places across the country yeah, you don't know. <laughs> uh, well, we hope that your song of love will be with you throughout every single milestone that you do have. Um, and I guess if you guys were talking to a family now that um, was going through a hard time, what would you say to them, um, especially if they had a child in need of a song of love? I mean, I would say don't hesitate to do it. It's such a it's a stress relief. It's a, it, it removes you from the situation for a little bit and it just kind of helps just get you through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get all emotional. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think it's, you know, that, that's, that's now ahead. It, it's sort of, it's sort of, you know, the, the, the way the songs are put together and they're played and stuff like that. It, it, it puts you in a space that's sort of like, you know, it gives you some hope and, and inspiration to sort of, uh, you know, that mm -hmm. everything's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, we want to thank you guys so much, Drew, Casey, and Brad, for talking to us about your Songs of Love experience um, back in, you know, from 2008, I think, all the way through now. Um, but for anyone who is watching this, make sure you go to songsoflove.org slash request if you do know a child in need who can use their very own Songs of Love. Thank you all so much. Hey, thank you. Thank, thank you guys you. very much. All right. Bye-bye.